Oh, oh. You know what I mean? And with that, I think it's time for uh, wake up and smell the bramble, you know? We're gonna fully explore bramble. This is episode number eight? Episode number eight. And we're kind of getting to the end of it. Oh, that's interesting. It's showing that, okay, because of where I quit out, it thinks that I hadn't already looked at this stuff. But once again, just as a recap, thank you game. If you guys were not here for last episode, we found the sixth location, did the Tower of Quantum Knowledge as well, and now are making our way to Bramble. And actually, there probably is something left that I should explore in the Sunless City first. I should probably... Mm, I want to just go to Bramble. Yeah, we'll go... Mm, we'll go to Bramble. Yeah. We're gonna go to Bramble, and then whenever we reset the day or die, <laughs> based off of last time, we'll hightail it back to the Sunless City and try to figure out what's going on with the Ash Twin Project. And, yep. The ghost matter. All of it. Yep, all of it. So, let's head over to Bramble. What a time to be like... I don't know what compelled me to wake up so early, but I was like, all right, I just am getting this itch to finish this game and not finish it because I'm trying to rush it, but finish it because I need to know what is happening. I need to know. I keep saying it, but I know this game is gonna haunt me. Like I'm gonna be on Reddit threads. I'm gonna be looking up all of the theories, the thoughts, everything that I'm not coming up with myself. And trust me, there's a lot I'm not coming up with. Oh. Auto Rock always throws me off. Also, Autopilot, you really want to roast me, toasty me in the morning? Hello, son. Goodbye, son. Pride is not the word I use. All right, firing retro rocket. So this time to kind of mix things up with Bramble, you guys. First things first, I'm gonna like look at the whole outer shell. But outside of that, instead of free jumping into the center, I say we take our ship into it, but we need to remember anglerfish. I don't even know if... It might kind of be like the interloper where there isn't really anything to be seen on the outside, but I don't want to make that assumption. Hmm. You can definitely see the angler fish's lights. I've never thought about this, but what does, um, what does like the integrity of it, like the structure itself, does that smack on it? Oops. Let me, I want to see what the, uh, firing right here is going to be. Oh, come on. There we go. See, I feel like I'm right there, but I guess you're not. There we go. So, it's not telling us the integrity of the structure, but... Alright, so anglerfish are happening. We did see that. They didn't attack me the last time. We just need to remember that they... are blind, but that doesn't mean... So, they definitely have their hearing. Like, I think in all of my... Oh, gosh. in all of my David Attenborough convert <laughs> like nature episodes. I know anglerfish certainly are smarter than they appear. What if we launch this? Yeah, this is a lot less spooky when you're not free jumping. There's an angler. All right, so they're like these little spikies. I think we're fine as long as we're in the ship, but I don't want to make that assumption. Let's go towards that red light. I like the music. All right, let's get our uh, angler on the go. Here. All right, I'm going to put this away, assign the scope. 
Unknown. Quantum fluctuations. Distress beacon. Match velocity. Hold on. There's one coming out. All right, we're going to go into whatever this thing is. So, I feel like it just leads into another cave. Well, he wouldn't have seen us. I'm making too much noise. Oh my gosh, my heart. That was horrifying. It's the noise. It has to be the noise. I wonder if you can't even fire your rockets in there. Maybe I do need to go on foot because he didn't hear me. But then I don't have as much, like, mover ability. Uh. Mm. All right, let's try that again. Oh my, terrifying. Oh, Bramble's not going to be kind to us. Maybe there's something about the one that's crashed here. Let's go back to the one that's crashed here. I know I gave a gander at it a couple episodes ago, but also... Is it always nighttime? I guess it is. It starts out kind of morning. There has to be something that we're missing over here. I know I've already gone back here once before, but this can't be an accident that it's landed here. Like, there has to be some kind of knowledge that we're supposed to take from here to understand how this works. Um. Yeah. Let me talk to the guy again. I know, like, we see this. We see that the sound is coming from it. I'm just trying to think of everything we have. The Demogorgon. Does the distress beacon pop up as well? No. Distress beacon shows what? Show somewhere else. All right. I just oh. I just have this feeling like Amazing. I can't enter it. Ow. All right. It's just going to puncture because of all the yeah, thorns. I thought you were taking that tin can of yours to space today. Saw the crash, we've seen this. Is that a dark bramble seed? I haven't seen it at like on Timber Hearth before, so there's probably something onto it. It puts down roots in a hurry. Best get rid of the mess sooner than later. No, so no one wants it on planet, yeah. I'll have to get a look at what's inside first though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking a potentially dangerous plant. Yeah. Wait a minute. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. The scout launcher! Are you f I've had the scout launcher the whole time. Then this goes back to... <laughs> this is like the... This is like an interesting... There's a couple learning lessons here. One. Just because I'm reading something doesn't mean that I'm actually reading <laughs> I think this just naturally happens as well. I think I was actually talking about this last night on stream is that obviously there's degradation in my playthroughs when I'm streaming and like looking at chat and everything. But even when I'm recording for YouTube, there there's still this like knowledge that you're being recorded. So you're still thinking of a lot of things at the same time. But even if I was just playing a game by myself, it's a first playthrough. So I'm 100% I'm going to miss things like pretty often, um, even if I'm trying to be very meticulous and kind of like moving through it i just want to always be moving through with intention especially when i'm recording for youtube because i have more of my attention span but um this goes back to also i forgot that i had my jetpack like there were moments when we were on giant's deep that i was like how do i get there and then it was the jetpack and i just think it's a really i don't know if i'm gonna need to start writing down what tools i have in games, but I feel like I'm constantly forgetting what the game gives me. Like, I forget about this. So, I tried using the launch scout, I thought, when I was inside Dark Bramble, but I feel like it didn't really work. Duplicate signal. But the ship log is updated. Duplicate signal. Right, so... The scout is still traveling. Let's go ahead and see what the scout's looking at. What in the world? That's our friend. 
That's our friend. That's why we can hear it. Oh my gosh. He's hanging out on the inside of an angler's mouth, y'all. <laughs> He's wild. He's on the inside of an angler's mouth. Or maybe a dead angler. Maybe there's dead anglers in there. So you can see a piece of bramble by the pieces that you find throughout. Aren't there other... We gotta get him back. Let me try talking to him. Duplicate signal. So whenever bramble pieces kind of break off, you're able to... What? This is somewhere different. Also, I can't... That's it. That's all it's showing. It's kind of creepy. Hold on. Oh, it's because I'm moving through. All right, take me there. As it's traveling into it, it, you, it, um, there's an angler that's caught. Oh, okay. There's an angler caught in some of the bramble and that's where he's taken up residence. I wonder if he had lost his ship. Look at that. Yeah, I'm wondering if he lost his ship and that's why he's stuck there. So we're looking for an anglerfish that's stuck in the bramble. Blasted seed did a lot of damage. I threw a little scout into the seed. Both of all of these. Oh my gosh. How could I miss this? You're sure the seed isn't from Tipper Hearth. Back in my younger days, I explored everywhere there is on da 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 da. Trust me, we don't have anything like this. Nah, I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble if it's from anywhere. Hatchling. Inside the seat? Huh. I don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know is Feldspar. I think this was all part of what we had read earlier, but listen here. Don't go telling niece about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of the darn seed if they suspect there's any musical talent. <laughs> I threw a little scout. You did? Did you? And you're telling me that it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? Huh. This is going to be a chore to chop up, and no mistake, can we even remove a seed that doesn't have any, uh, decency to stay the same size as all the way through? Maybe I'd go ahead or go grab an extra axe or three. I think you're going to need a whole, you're, you're going to need a lot of, a lot of power. I'd say a couple mines, some bombs, just a little... Nuke it all. Okay, the biggest takeaway from what he said right there, too, if we're, like, noticing what he's saying and also looking at this. And this is pretty... This is this is stuff that I should have found out before I went to Bramble, and this is one of those things that ideally you hopefully are paying attention in your first playthrough. And when it highlights in orange and says... <laughs> when it highlights in orange and says, Scout. Maybe remember you have a scout, although I didn't use my scout for a long time in this playthrough. And even still, I probably don't use it as much as I could use it, if we're being completely honest. Uh, okay, the biggest takeaway that he said is it's actually larger on the inside than it appears on the outside. And that's pretty true to Bramble. If you think about the two times that we've gone in there, it, we get lost in the sauce because on the outside, you think you're going to be able to traverse it. But it actually is massive once you get inside. So... There's always, I think, until we see, like everything else that we've done inside the seed, um, until we see absolutely everything checked off in Bramble, we will keep diving into Bramble um, as long as we see that dark Bramble seed. I launched my little scout into the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. And now it's done. Now we're done with dark Bramble seed. And then we have inside the seed. When I launched my scout, into the seed that crashed onto her hearth it ended up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines i don't think this is going to be even possible i've never tried to part with my the only other time the only other time i have tried to part with my scout for this long was when we launched it into the anglerfish's mouth so i'm going to try to leave my scout there Oh, hopefully I don't hit a tree. And use that to be able to find wherever that mouth is. Yes, look. Okay. So I'm going to hightail it over there. And let's see if that's how we can find our man, Feldspar. 
This is exciting. I hope we can bring him back home. We need to find out what happened. Maybe he has something to teach us about the ghost matter, too? You know what? I wonder if launching one of our... Maybe we can launch one of our scouts down to the center of the interloper as well. Maybe it was never about you going inside, but getting a scout to go inside too. Maybe one of the places is safe for me to drop through. Probably not. 3.4 kilometers inside. I mean, look at how vast this is. Wow. Okay, this is good. We checked off one thing already. So, biggest takeaway, lights off. Well, actually, lights on and off don't matter. It's gonna be all about, it's gonna be all about moving incredibly slow. Just like, I, I probably, wait, that looked like ghost matter. I don't know if I can even go this slow. Okay, Scout is now looking like it's down here. I, I don't even think I should, I think I should not go a full bar. So just lightly, Y'all are gonna be like, girl, you are moving way too slow. You can pick it up. This is really interesting too, because I think this might be the first time. Oh gosh. It's the music, Oh. I mean, we're headed 2.8 kilometers down into there. I need to pick it up. But I'm nervous about that red. 2.6. I think we can press a little bit further. Drop down. Um, I would say we probably don't want the signal scope because if they can hear, maybe it wasn't even the movement in me. Maybe it was the fact that I had the signal scope on. I'm gonna dive down. Yeah, this is all about making the least amount of noise which means I can't crush into anything either. And that means we have to go slow. And I mean, I'm sure you guys have been able to tell, but uh, assumptions kill, all right? In the words of my favorite show, Reacher. I feel like towards this latter half of this playthrough, there's been a lot of parts where I've been like, oh, I know what to do. And then I just rush into it or not even assumptions that kind of add to the playthroughs uh, change of pace or speed or whatever you want to say or me like missing things but I think even more than that oh that's a lot of anglers that's a lot of anglers the biggest thing that's been my foe in this whole playthrough is as soon as I realized that my days were numbered not even my days but the time in the day okay match yeah as Whoa, what? Never seen this before. Wow, okay, which one is it? I'm scared to do my signal scope. I'm not doing that. F that. Let's go this way. And just take it one by one. Yeah, as soon as I realized that I didn't, I only had a certain amount of time in a day, I think I started to rush those days. Like I started to get antsy that I wasn't gonna complete it in time. And then that caused towards a little bit of rushing, like more than I feel like I normally would. We're gonna have to check out all of these, which isn't the worst thing. I think there's multiple of these pods. Yeah, there's like multiple, they're not even pods. What are they? They're like, which means there might be, okay, hold on. We're gonna take this super slow because this is the last time that I saw an angler. And if we bounce straight into the face of, wait a minute. What am I on right now? I don't wanna waste this. Okay, we're headed straight through. Now I'm getting more duplicates. So the further you descend into it, The more duplicates we're finding. <laughs> this is 
so quiet. I should throw like a fast forward on this. What, um, I'm gonna go back and look at all the comments at the end of this, but feel free. And I think, I'm sure you guys already have, but please like let me know what kind of principles we're working with here just like we were looking at the quantum moon like this has there is something going on here i mean this whole notion of something appears smaller than it actually is i mean for me i think purely hermione's bag but i know that there's probably something scientific happening here there he is there he is all right match speed don't throw I'm not throwing away my shot feldspar Something right there, too. Interesting. So we probably are gonna be safe once we... So the... Okay, so the seed... The seed popped up inside of this angler's mouth, and I'm assuming that's why we now have a... Okay, we should be able to make more noise than we normally could. Right here. Hold on, don't throw this way. I just don't want to get eaten by something else. I'm going to land right here. Right on his little... Look, Feldspar. We did it! We did it! Uh... Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Feldspar, you son of a gun! How oh, have you been surviving this? What have you been doing? Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come here in, well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Bramble, Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet? If only he knew. Uh, Feldspar, you're alive. You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed. Violently. You crashed, but you were the greatest pilot. I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this. Alright, guys, get around the campfire. <clears throat> I just finished exploring the cave. <laughs> the core, sorry. The core of Giant's Deep and wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever before. One, he's been to the core. Two, we need to watch the scout into the core as well. Maybe the scout can tell us stuff. With, oh my goodness, I've been just... Getting around in the Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run into this huge anglerfish. You've seen him. Big, gnarly things, and this wasn't the biggest one I've ever seen. I pulled a few stunts, tried to shake things off, nothing too fancy. I'm starting to go into that southern twang, here we go. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. It's, um... My amazement for their ability to remain in, like, a one treacherous location. Like, all of them, if you think about every single person on every moon and, and planet, to even be able to be... I, I wouldn't go as far to say they're satisfied, because you don't know, like, their internal thoughts too much. But their ability to be in solitude while also seeming joyful and... Maybe my largest takeaway from this is I need to pick up a musical instrument because they all seem to be pretty damn happy. <laughs> Just buy them lonesome. I mean, I'm happy with my books, but don't get me wrong. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchlin. Story's over, but uh, feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. 
or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Please tell me we can take him back with us because I feel like this would just be a horrible moment not to save him. Anything else? Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. It's quiet and peaceful-ish. I commend him. I commend all of them, I really do. I've done a weekend away where I like locked my phone away. And I mean, this just says a lot, but it got easier the more days that I was in it. But at first, it's weird how much of an attachment we have to noise. And I'm not just talking about phones. Like, I'm, I'm really actually not one of those people that just scrolls mindlessly on social media or anything like that. But I feel like I just like having sound around me. So I feel like it probably would become your friend in this situation. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. It's been nice to have a break. Oh, sir, I... Yeah. The pressure that we put on our own selves, let alone when something like that happens and you become known for something, and then other people's pressure, I mean, anybody would crack. Put up, <laughs> hey hatchling, pull up a marshmallow stick and come to hear the tales of the heroic exploits, have you? What happened to the anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten a seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until it happened. It's gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find, keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Mmm. Let's do... Where's your ship? Not far from here. As a matter of fact, if you go straight past the tail of this angler skeleton here, you'll see the flickering light in the fog. We saw that, the, the blue light. Follow that, and you'll find my old ship. What's left of it, anyway. Oh, no. You've reached the core? Yes. You've reached Giant's Core, Giant Deep's Core, huh? Ah, that's a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you've made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. No, please tell me. Hmm. Oh, come on. On a completely unrelated note, that sure is a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yeah. Okay, on a completely unrelated note, which is his hint, that sure is a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Tell me one of these leads into the core. Or, okay, we gotta work on that. We'll think about that. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You know what? That's what it is. That's how he got to Bramble, no? Was he, I, I have to think back, but I thought he was supposed to go to Giant Steep and then he got lost. And, it, and then we never found a signal. Nobody ever thought he was on Bramble. And that was something we like hypothesized at the beginning. So yeah, that's how we ended up here. So one of these leads to that. Interesting. A whole nother kind of, okay. You'll want to go to the tail end of the anglerfish skeleton here and look for the flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Feldspar, you son of a gun. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that the space is weird here. Intensely. Ever tried your throwing your scout into one of these weird seeds? See there, see there with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. The seed looks small, see? But inside it, it's bigger, expanding, much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this. My theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble. Maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Best of luck. I found something. Lay it on me, Hatchling. I found a Dark Bramble seed on Timber Heart. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you so much as glance in the Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered into pieces across space. 
If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be headed towards the same fate. And I'll tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. How can we get rid of it though? So maybe that's, maybe that's also part of our, you know how I was trying to figure out why, like how we stop the day from repeating. We also need to figure out how the heck we get that out of our planet and off our planet. I found no my writing saying anglerfish are blind. Aha! So the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them couldn't have used a bit more thought behind it. I like his look. I like how each of the Harthians all actually are all, they all have different spacesuits and everything. Ah, well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh, Hatchlin? Aw, oh, Feldspar. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna double check here. Oops, not the bad business, hold up. One more time. Actually, never mind. Sounds like you better get out there and start exploring. Well, first things first, you know we're headed to the center. Well, first things first. Hold on. Let's do a little roasty toasty marshmallow in his honor. Cause now we have officially found all of our survivors. I'm gonna doze off here real quick. I'll just take a little bit of ketchup. I wonder, is it possible, is another part that I missed to this, that if you, if you doze off, does it give you time back in your day? No, because you would snooze through the day. I don't know where my thought's going with that, but. <gasps> no, 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 backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. What are these? All right. Oh, first off, hold up. Before I forget anything else, put away. You, sir, Feldspar. But there is, I don't know if there's any quantum frequencies inside of this, but I know for a fact there's a, whoa. I don't see a distress beacon anywhere though, but I know there was one. Okay. All right, let's launch our Okay, we're going further. The scout's headed back somewhere else. That, that, wait, 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 wait. What? It just comes back to the, this seed. It's a pretty picture. Wow, okay, uh, guys, by the way, my ship is, uh... You, sir, I've been a very bad ship. All right. Refuel here, let's go ahead and check this. Yes, Feltor's camp, which is leading to more stuff. Oh my goodness. Woo! Feltor's camp, Feltor is alive. They crashed their ship and is now camping inside a huge anglerfish skeleton. Feltor doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Feldspar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Space doesn't work the same inside of Dark Bramble. The Hollow Vine. Feldspar hinted that a secret to reaching the core of the giant's deep lies at the end of the hollowed vine they crashed their ship into. To find Feldspar's ship, I'll want to go to the tail end of the skeleton and look for a flickering light in the fog. We're doing it. I think it's uh, getting these last minute pieces, like finding these together, it's just, I don't know, it just makes you so happy because you've been putting in all this work. We need to match and just take it easy because there still could be more, although they are territorial. So we should be good up until we get to over here. Let me launch a... Okay, he's stuck there. But yeah, sure enough, he found a ship for a second. Whoa. Okay, slightly. Put the scout away. Feldspar ship. I think we should jump. Well, we've never been able to land inside of somebody's ship before. So I don't think we're going to be able to now. However, 
If he came out of this, we need to go into this vine. But which way? Which way? <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna double check, but no, that is the end of that. And this ship is- Are ah! oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Oh, seriously? Feldspar? Come on, dude. I should have known I was gonna get electrocuted. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, hold on. We're just gonna, we can't. That's not good. Okay, I can't really land it, but oh, I hate when it goes dark like this. There won't be an anglerfish that comes in here, so we should be fine. We should be fine, we just need to, ah. Oi. Doesn't really want me to repair it. There we go. Hold on. Matching velocity is your best friend in this situation. Perfect. Electrical system's back online, but something, or I think his ship is the one that's freaking out. Okay, I think it was just, it just fried our electrical system, which makes sense. I probably shouldn't elect, <laughs> I shouldn't have fried myself. Oh no, we need to repair the hole. Well, this is kind of like a safe area, so we should be fine for now. Should be. Oh, the cockpit. I keep saying hole for the cockpit. The ship's getting close again. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh no, it's gonna crash into us. No, 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 no. Okay, move, 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 move. Get out of here. All right, let's follow this through. Hmm. I don't know, I, I'm gonna have to go on foot. What is that? Do you see that thing moving? I think we need to follow this through, but we're gonna have to go on foot for the rest of the way. I just wanna um, double check that real quick. Feldspar hinted a secret in reaching Giant's core at the end of the hollowed vine they crashed their ship into. Can I really not get my ship through? Yeah, sure enough. So we have to go on foot. Whoa, whoa. What the hell? I'm at the South Pole of a different planet. I don't think we're on Bramble anymore. No. We're not on Bramble anymore. It's how you traverse into the other parts of the vines. The ones that have broken off into different areas. Am I in the core? I am! Oh my gosh! Feldspar's information. This canteen. I love when this music cues up because you know you've just found something so stinking cool. Y'all. <laughs> Trip four, entry. I'm gonna say number one, not one. Crashes three, boring crashes zero. A personal best. Woohoo, never thought I'd see the end of one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. No, so maybe I'm in the core of Bramble? Blah. This thing tastes terrible. The outside is just rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's in insides. No! From getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm gonna be in the inside of the interior cavity to see. Every time I find a new discovery, it's like, The outer silence. And way down we go, go, go. <laughs> Ratio, back at it again. Maybe I can try to move a little bit faster this time. 
surely there's another way. Wait a minute. Maybe... I wonder if you learn that a way to get into the core is to take your ship inside one of the jellyfish? Because the jellyfish can traverse and it probably eats... The jellyfish's body probably absorbs the electric shock. So... I'm gonna try getting to it that way before we go all the way back to... Feldspar? I wanna test this, uh, but there is something I have to do first. I wanna make sure that we're able to get back to him, so I'm gonna always need- I- I don't know if I'm gonna always need to, but I'm gonna go ahead and launch a little scouty. A scout boy down here, just to help me make sure that I get back to him. Good morning! That was quite the discovery, and an amazing day. Despite, once again, having it snatched up from our jaws. Alright, there's more to do- yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Feldspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by the electricity. Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better than the inside. There is more to explore there, but I already am kind of thinking, because you have to remember, he didn't get inside the core by Bramble. He got to Bramble from going inside the core and then ending up in Bramble. So that tells me that he originally did figure out a solution to getting inside the core from Giant's Deep, which to me the only real way you could do that would be using the jellyfish to our disposal. So we're gonna test that out for- Do I mean I need my suit to have? Okay. Oh! That's probably why I never did this. I keep I keep wondering like how I missed something so obvious. Yeah, I, I don't think you can launch your scout if you don't have your suit on. Although I did go back with my suit on, I think. But regardless, I had I just have a feeling that I probably didn't see it on my screen. Otherwise, maybe I would have launched. I don't know. I'm gonna stop trying to make excuses. Uh, giant steep. Let's go test this. Let's go hop inside of a jellyfish. I don't know if we'll be able to absorb our ship and all. You know, I never got that close to them. I was kind of terrified of them, but we'll need to find a massive jelly. So let's look for a massive jelly first, but actually we need to find a reverse cyclone first too. So reverse cyclone, giant jelly. And I still haven't forgotten that I feel like I'm gonna need to place all of those stones in their respective spots. But we need to find, in order to find the last one, which is the control panel, you have to be able to get into the core at Giant's Deep. And I think there's a few other things we're missing. Oh, snap, crackle pop, hold on. I don't know how we would get it done in one single day, but whoa! Okay, look for uh, counterclockwise. I've been having dreams. I'm inside of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jumping in cyclone. There we go. That's our counterclockwise boy. Launch me. Take me to church. Here we go. Perfect. Come here, Jelly. But can I tell a Jelly where to go or do I just have to... See, he's already putting out electrical. I think I'm gonna get zapped. I think this is goofy. I don't... I think that might be a little goofy to think that that could happen. Huh. Is he going down into it? Ideally, we're finding one that's going down into it. Yes, he is. He's about to go into it. Land on him. Ah! Stupid. So stupid. <laughs> that's funny. But maybe... I was thinking maybe when he... How? There's still, so we have to find the bramble stuff, yeah. 
He would have known what to do without seeing what we saw, though. If that guy's going in. I wonder if there's a moment where it's not electrical. No, that's electrical. That's electrical. Get out. Ah! What the hell? <laughs> I think it was because I was damaged for too long. <laughs> it's okay. I tried it. I didn't waste my day. I did waste the day, but let's get back to Bramble. We gotta figure something else out. There has to be a way to diffuse their electricity and be able to know because their electricity is what it enables them to be able to get through. So something, maybe if we could... Can we change our own electrical output? Uh, we'll head over to Bramble. I'll finish exploring that way. Sometimes you just gotta try, you know, for science. Just gotta test it. It's a lot more fun, kind of, just throwing out ideas and seeing how they work, even if they're absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's launch this bad boy and let's head back over to uh, Dark Bramble. Me always trying to say Bramble Hollow, and I think it's because of Star's Hollow will always make me think I'm saying Hollow. All right, I'm coming, Feldspar. Me. Goodbye. Goodbye now. I should talk to him next time because we have some more information on it. What would eliminate that? That's the question. What would, what could take out the bramble? Hmm. Massive explosion. Pulling it to Oh, was there a Bramble? I, I'm asking as if you guys can answer in real time. I always do this. I always talk to you guys as if I'm streaming live. Um, I think there was a Bramble on Brittle. We know there's a Bramble on the Interloper, but I, I think it's just vines. I don't think it's actually like a core. Right, ready? Should be where he normally lands. Alright. Be mindful of mm. the anglers. There we go again. So we do need to pick it up a little bit. Although I did spend a lot of time talking to Feldspar. Bring it down a little bit. We know that it's going to spill it off here soon. And I'm just going to keep to the left like I did last time. I have to match the silence with my own, you know? I'm going too fast. Here we go. First one. First one. Scout 1.9. Very nice. Match velocity and slowly go. I reckon, I'm wondering if those like turn into anglers. If you go too fast, you know? Look at that, look at that. I mean, the way that they did the loading right there is, uh, is pretty smooth considering all things considered. Um, I'm going to go towards the one that is slightly closer. I think that's how I figured it out last time. I think I'm still going too fast. You don't really have to slow down, though, because... It's firing the rockets that I think alerts them, but if you're just moving like this, I think you're fine. You know, because you're, if you're just moving, you're kind of just gliding through it. Maybe the sound bothers it. Right down into it. Go. That's almost as clever as the loading being, um, I never realized that when you're crawling through those kind of tight spaces, that's when they do loading screens sometimes on games. And I think that's so clever. All 
Right, we should, this should be, um, well, the dead, does the dead anglerfish have a light? The fossil shouldn't have a light. Whose light is that? Okay, we're coming in. We're actually coming in fairly quickly. All right, the light has disappeared. As soon as we see the de okay, we're good, we're good. Territorial anglerfish. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Trees, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to rotate this way. I came in upside down. Interesting. All right, we're gonna go beyond. We're gonna get our scout boy back. We're gonna put this guy away, and then we're gonna. Okay. I'm still going to take it slow, but like I said the first time we were kind of coming around here, we should be fine because... Okay, I don't want to get zapped, so let me try to go in here. Down. Whee! And fix us. There we go. I always have to rotate my head when I'm doing that. Ow. Ow. All right, I'm out. Make sure everything's replenished. And let's just see what we can find in that core. Whee! Yeah, Bramble's such a fascinating area. Even this. Okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's turn our light back on. I hate when it gets like this and all you hear is your breath and you're like, where is our dear angler? So maybe there's a way. So let me go back and I, I kind of rushed that reading. We saw that. Never thought I'd see the beast. Yep. He tries to eat it. <laughs> mm, maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right. I'm going inside the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. So you can go up inside their little <gasps> feldspar, you. Note to feldspar. Do not, wait, this wasn't felt. Wait, he's noting himself. Do not eat this. Even if you were dying, it would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in your life. <laughs> I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love feldspar. So I think the idea was right, but... I just executed it poorly. Whoa, I thought there was an angler. I'm so goofy. I went to the very top of him, but I should have gone up and under. So we're trying to go up and under? I guess. Yeah, so we need to go up and under his little... His little tentacles. His tendrils. Show some proper respect. Um, I'm not going down there. I'm not going to do that. I think we should just head back to our ship. Because I reckon we'd die if we went down. <gasps> Note to self, ice is pretty slippery. Um. Wait, what? No, no, not the anglers. Not the anglers. I mean, we might as well just reset the day. I don't want to get eaten. Maybe I can find something in here on my own without my ship, and then we'll reset. No, this is too scary to do without. Unable to pinpoint location. Might as well have some fun with it. Duplicates throw me off every time. You know what, y'all? I actually reckon we might be able to get to our original signal. Maybe? I feel like we haven't seen like a full blown angler.
Even if I get back to my ship. I want to go up there. I'm so waking up an angler. He's going to be mad. That's an angler. That one's an angler. Oh, it disappeared. How are you supposed to know what's out there? Maybe there's not really that much to explore out here. Oh gosh. Their sounds in this game are absolutely perfect. Like they did sound wise, it's just a fantastic job. I think we're still trying to find the distress beacon in here. There should be a ship in here. There's another one. They kind of remind me of a uh, crawler, a crawler, 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 crawler. Those donuts that have the little twirls. You know what I'm talking about? I'll just go until we run out of oxygen because we might as well explore while we're in here. Mm. Was that not an anglerfish? I heard something growling at me. Something was growling. We lost track of the red light. We need to head to the red light one. I feel like that's our best chance. Also though, none of these lights are turning into anglers. I feel like we're on the wrong path since we're not running into any of them. Yeah, I almost feel like you have to follow the red one. Otherwise, you just get lost in the sauce. Well, every single hole that we go into, it's getting larger and larger, correct? That. That's an angler. Wow. I have no need to go there. Not going towards that light. Not today, angler buddy boy. I wonder what it takes to have him get, like, come to you. I think he's just sleeping. And this is his territory, anyway. Okay. Yeah, this is his spot. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and... Reset the loop. Well, we're gonna have to. Reset loop. No, well, let me just die out. Let me die out. All right, I'm gonna die out and I gotta run to the bathroom, but I'm gonna just let myself run out of oxygen. We, it was gonna happen anyway. Um, I'm gonna go to the side here. Die out oxygen wise. I guess I could have went into the mouth of them, but it's scary and I don't wanna do that. Um, anyways, I'm going to hang out here until I run out of oxygen in a couple seconds and then I am going to get us back to Giant's Deep and we're going to figure out how to use that to get through. We're going to test that again. So I will be right back. I'll see you guys in a new day. That angler boy is making a play for us. Hold on. Oh no, they're coming back. They're coming back. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Okay, that one's fine. Oh, we're gonna die. I'm dying. I'm losing it. There it is. Okay, all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. All right, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go up and under. But you see the electricity pulsing through the tentacles, no? Maybe only on the external side. Wait, this guy might be going up. We need to find the ones that are going down. Ah, so the centerpiece. 
It's just the outside. But that centerpiece would be fine. But I think my ship's too large, so I might have to go on foot. Ah! Yeah. I'm gonna try this on foot. I don't know where I am. Ah! No, 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 no. It's scary down here, guys. Okay, I know it doesn't seem scary, but this is like one of my bigger fears out of everything. Subnautica wouldn't happen. Not gonna happen. But that guy just went through. We need to find a jelly that's about to go through. That jelly. He's going back down. Swim! 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 No. Need to find a different one. He's gonna hit it. Plus, it's a little bit different out here because you can't... Need to get up in... That guy. I guess it's because I can't really... I'm kind of just floating here. I think I would... I think I really have to get my ship close and then exit through one. Hold on. Oh, the current, maybe. See, my ship's about to get pulled up in the current again. So hopefully I can still go down. See, I was having a hard time going down. Okay, we're gonna do this. Fix the electrical. Electric systems. Down. Up. Down. Alright, that should be good. Let's get back up in here. Yeah, I, I don't think we can go in the ship. Okay, he's already going through. We need to find a guy that hasn't gone through yet. Like right there. Okay, this is perfect. So let me get close enough that I can do something. Okay, ready? And now we are going to... I'm going to test this. Let me get out. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Swim, swim. I can't. He went down too fast. Shoot. This jelly's coming out, so let me try doing it with this guy. This all feels very weird. Very, very weird. Because they just come in and then come back out? So. <laughs> They're just good for eating, like, absorbing electrical damage. I don't think this is going to work, but... I guess. Okay, yeah, so you can't take your ship, but you yourself can go through this weird stuff. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, so now we just wait for him to go down through. How will we know? Launch my scout. Okay, we'll know when my scout... Okay, we'll know. You'll definitely know. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stay up, stay up. I think he's permeating it. Yep. Yep. It's happening. That's not good. That's not good. I think I'm getting fried. Do I go out? Do I try to go out? Now I don't want to go out. Now I'm happy in here. I'm happy in here. What the hell? This is terrifying and I hate this and I hate this and I hate this. What is that? I hate everything about this.
Okay. This should be the only thing in the core. I don't think there's anything else to explore in the core. I don't know why it makes me so uncomfortable. It just does. And it's also darkness too. Like you can't see anything else. Here we go, guys. The launch part. Wait, 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 start. Was there anything to read? No. All right, start at the first one. Wow. There should be a spot. Yeah, we need to flip upside down. I was going to say there should be a spot to do that stuff. This pa- Oh, there we go. Receiving data from probe. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Okay, bring it up. What is that stuff? Hmm. No text. Next one. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Those are the coordinates? I don't know if we've ever been able to read their coordinates. Hmm. There we go. So we have the, you're right, right. We have the launch module. We know where all of these are. Yeah, we know where all of these are, but that's not going to repair that. All right, let's place both stones. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret's not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, who so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind. Because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Which it was. Which it was. All right, let's place this one down. This is the Ash Twin Projection Stone. That's where our second Ash Twin Projection Stone is. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Raimi is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you and the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other, on an, wait, wait, on the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. And that alert never came through. Huh. This guy. Alright. So we've got a couple things going on here, and I'm just wondering... I still, I don't know if it's a genuine thing. I'm going to give it my good honest try to piece up everything together, but I need to track. Um, I'm going to write down. Hold on. I want to write down where all of these are. Could I look up where all the locations are? Yes, I'm not going to. So I need to grab a, hold on. I know I just, I just took a break. I'm, I'm going to grab a journal real quick. And as we're finishing up these final touches, I'm going to make note of where each and every path is. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm probably, I might not even be right about this, but it's worth a shot. And once we write all of these down, it's not simply about writing down where the locations are and what needs to be placed here, but it's also figuring out where, like, your route. Because some of them you need, ugh, some of them are hard to collect, some of them are easier to collect. Um, all right, I don't know what that circle thing is. So we were on the inside of, okay, so I'm in Giant's Deep. I'm going to do it this way. I know this is boring stuff, but I'm in Giant's Deep, and we have the Ash Projection Stone, and this is on the inside, so I need to say Core. So I need to do Core, and then we've got two inside with Core. We've got the Ash Twin Project one, and that could go one of two places, actually. 
ash twin stone and then the second stone is the um this one. Oh, the launch module oh okay so we have the launch module also i don't even know if this is what we need to do because that would mean that you would have to come back and grab both of them because there's no way for you to take two and then this is all the uh core right this is two we would need two of these three circles and then i'm gonna say needs two times i'm drawing it out because i forget the name i think it's just the the probe right or the launch or something but those are that so those are done there's another one on giant steep which is the other stone guy okay well that's pretty much it um i don't really know how we're gonna get back to the ship because i'd have to safely go through another jelly so the interloper is doing his thing we do need to get back to Dark Bramble. I would say we almost reset. I also am resetting for another reason as well, which is I was not able to lock on to get into Giant's Deep. You guys just couldn't see it. All right, we're resuming. So that's Giant's Deep. And then also that's underneath the core. But I think there might be two other locations. We'll see. <gasps> If there were a way to prolong the day, it could be possible. Or honestly, maybe just using the launch, like the white hole station. And if you used all of your fast paths, I think it's possible. Uh, let me go into the ship and see where we're at. Whoa, probe tracking module, which I think it does that clear that? No, there's more here. There's more here. Oh, of, of course, for the probe tracking module. The statue in the probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and emits, transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe, but I don't think we've been able to look at that. Yeah. There's more to be found here. Probe tracking module. There's more to explore. Okay. I read both of them. Was there something else in the probe tracker? The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. Maybe I needed to take this and place it into this and make that hole again? Maybe that's the one that you have to make hole again? Huh. Okay, we'll circle back. I passed through the electric barrier and reached the coral forest of the planet's core. Another one done. Um... I think I'm gonna change of scenery this. We have the coordinates, just we wouldn't know how to translate that. So there has to be something else that shows us how to translate that, right? Hmm. With that, I do wanna circle back to the Sunless City and we'll get a change of scenery as well. Uh oh no, 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 no. Let's uh let's finish Bramble out. The escape pod and the vessel. Those are the two. Yeah, if you look at map mode. Yeah, escape pod and vessel. Right. Let's go back to Dark Bramble. I'm not done with him. We... Uh, wait a minute. Um, there is a way... Ah, shoot. Uh, hold on. Let me land for a second. I believe there would be a way to see... Let me go over here. Let me go to... The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. The Nomai warped to this system in a spaceship called the Vessel. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. That's all we know about that. Escape pod number three. One of the three Nomai escape pods that never made it out of Dark Bramble. Okay. I was wondering if we could do the same thing where, you know, we, we found a seedling and we were able to launch our scout pod to make sure that we navigated through Bramble successfully. Whoa. All right, to Bramble. I say this time we follow that red. That's going to smack me into... Okay. Yeah, I think we should follow the red light that emits from inside of Dark Bramble. But this time we just have to be super careful we don't run into the... The guys. 
<laughs> this game keeps, like, you keep thinking that you were uncovering more and you're getting closer to the end, but there's always, like, ten more mysteries behind something. I'd be interested to see, after all of it's said and done, the walkthrough as to exactly the path that they think is the fastest to get to where you need to go. Right. So we are looking for Distress Beacon. Oh yeah, that bad boy's in there. Alright, let's start with this. Now we just slowly go after that red. That's all. It's going to be so quiet during these parts. I have nothing to add to this. I'm just terrified. That That's the only thing that can make sense to me, is that red is the distress beacon. And then as far as the vessel crashing into Bramble, this surge just disappeared. Should be on the other side of this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Match velocity, slow and steady. There's an angler. But that's where we need to go. smallest of thrusters on to go oh my heart I've just lost three years off my life all right let's go back <laughs> oh my goodness I maybe it was because I was close to him maybe he could feel the presence he could feel the warmth of my ship I'm gonna give it one more try and then I'm gonna go to the Sunless City and I'm gonna focus on that for the rest of this video because I, my heart, oh no. Oh my gosh. You know it's gonna happen. And there's something about it that just strikes fear into your eyes. I, I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, that was funny. I really thought I had successfully. I was just about to like celebrate that I successfully evaded him. I was fine. It was, in fact, not fine. It wasn't fine. All right, let's align this flight trajectory, get back to Dark Bramble. Who would want to go? I don't know. I don't understand why it was so easy to get over to uh, Feldspar, but now this shuttle, they guard it with their life. Oh. No, I need to keep doing Dark Bramble. I will finish Dark Bramble this episode. If I can. If I can. Oh, yeah, because the Ash Twin Project is still something we haven't found. And I still, to this day, I don't understand how I haven't found it. There's so much in those two. I mean, if you think about it, it took us pretty much three episodes to find everything we already had found. Right. So I, I, I can't even turn on the smallest of... I'm not moving. Like, I'm doing, like, a little slight buzz here and there. But otherwise, I'm done. I'm not turning on my scout launcher. I'm not... Okay, I'm gonna go up and around this way because I feel like what screwed us over is figuring out. I think maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe you use the scout launcher to see, like see right there? That's a false, that's a false light. Whereas that's not a false light. Let's check it. 
Oh, no, that's kind of showing like a false light, too. I hate it. That's a real angler, isn't it? Mother. He's pissed off. Can you even evade them? Like, did I successfully just evade him right there? I'm out, 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 I'm out. Go. Beeline for it, don't get me. No. Okay, launch, launch, launch. Reset, reset, reset. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Go into it. Okay, a whole new. Come on. He's gonna get me. That's... What? <laughs> okay, just put everything away. I'm not quite sure how to do that. I don't know how to do that. Not quite sure how to go about this. Because I feel like as soon as I launched it, they saw me. Like, as soon as... Alright, you just have to be no fear. See, there's there's gotta be a way for it to show you where you need to go. You know what I mean? Like, there's... Uh, the same way that I knew exactly where the beacon was by going... That was horrifying. I would be so bad with scary games. Okay, we're getting close to this guy. This is good. I wonder if you can outrun them, though. You might be able to outrun. I'm gonna turn headlights off, too. I just don't trust it. I mean, I know. I know they're blind, but... I, I still don't think they have a weakness. I'm just saying... They don't feel like they have a weakness. <laughs> Might just speed up this section. Hmm. This feels very different than the other times that we've gotten close to it. We're gonna need to go, like... Seed into seed. Okay, so there's always an angler, like, right here. We just need to be prepared for him. Just don't move. was right there. Oh. How have they made such a phenomenal, terrifying area? It's truly striking full-blown fear into my... Oh, gosh. Now I'm just gonna die. I know. Everything. I know. Hold on, ship. Hold on a little bit longer. 
Okay, everything's damaged. Let me leave. Let me get out. I'll save you. I'll save you. Don't worry, ship. I got you. That is just no progress whatsoever. Mm hmm. Need to get into the right position. Come on. One's close. Ah, I'm like jumping up. We're going over to... I'm not dealing with this. We're going over to... Okay, one thing's done. Gotta repair the cockpit. We're going over to the desert. I'm going back to the desert, to the Sunless City. I'm done. I'm done with this for today. Bramble is not getting... <laughs> Two seconds ago before I saw them. Sure. Sure. Yeah, we'll get him done. <sighs> Porthole. Sure. Now? I've got to mentally prepare for that. I've got to be prepared. Nothing prepares you for those guys. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> if only... It's just weird because I feel like when we were finding Feldspar, that wasn't my experience. Like, there weren't a lot of those. And to be honest, I don't know how sl how much slower I can go. I mean, I guess I can go on foot, but that would be not the best idea. I don't think, I don't exactly think going on foot is the right way. <sighs> oh, you know what? It's already going to be filled. I wasn't thinking about this, but it's already going to be filled with sand. So I don't know how worth it it is to go over here. But maybe we can look for the, um, you know what we can do though. All jokes aside. Sunless City is our last thing here. Uh, right here, the Ash Twin Project. We need to figure out what specifically it wants us to know about the Ash Twin Project. Rumor mode? Yeah, we have this massive circle. And then these two circles. And then the ruptured core and this stuff. Small little pieces, but they make the biggest difference. Like, they each are going to take up a lot of time. All right, here we go. <laughs> it is one of the most like relaxing, but also nerve wracking games. Cause once you find out and you do realize like, oh, okay, I can, you know, like you do find out very quickly that you're gonna be able to keep respawning, but that doesn't make it less scary every time you die. Surprised that didn't cause hurt. Okay, so we are looking for the Ash Twin Project. That information is locked out to us right now. There's something we must be missing. Something we're missing. I'm wondering if there's something to do with the sun. Like, the sun station was a major part of the Ash Twin Project, no doubt. This is our two little guys. I'm gonna land right here for a second, although my ship might go... My ship's gonna get sweeped up in it, but that's fine. This is where we don't have a lot of time in the day anyway. These are the only two that I haven't worked with. So remember how I've been working with every single tower, but these are like the two that remain kind of a bit of a mystery. Like, I did use one to launch to the other spot, but I can't remember. I want to read this again. Um, this guy specifically is broken. But I guess you don't really need to go to him, do you? Drop scroll. Hmm. Hmm. I never noticed on the floor that's using the black hole pieces. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ashwin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Raimi found me. But the high energy lab is the building with the large solar panels. We've seen this. I imagine otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his head. None of this is new information. 
This one's not the broken one. This is the broken one. But it can't take you anywhere. Actually, I guess it still could, even with the glass broken. I don't know if we've ever tried. I might just try real quick. Wait, but that wouldn't... How would that even work? Because one represents the other side. I don't think that would work. This is so that the glass doesn't sweep you up. Like, I'm gonna get drawn up, and then... Funny enough, like, the sand is actually what helps you- oh, well... Oh, gosh. Ah! I can't go to the Sunless City right now, it'd be all covered up. I think it'd be mostly covered up. We can just zoom over to it real quick. We see these ruins over here. Might as well just pop over there. There might be something to figure out. The ghost matter. Where is our head with the ghost matter? Part of me just thinks that the ghost matter is, I don't know. It's something that you're never actually going to figure out how to traverse through. Because you also, I don't know if you actually necessarily have to. Wow, a lot's been filled up, by the way. It's much easier when you have a bunch of electricity, but I'm gonna go ahead and... What would be missing? Probably some of the base pools. Like, probably some of the Sunless City's bottom levels. This is the, I believe, this is to the Anglerfish Cave. Yeah, that's the Anglerfish Cave, so there's nothing new to learn there in the Sunless City. This is all of their, oh, you know what? I'm gonna get crushed, so I need to get out of here. But, no, nah, mm, I was thinking if the sand fills a little bit, you're able to get to a spot, but I'm wrong about that. one of those giant lights. No. We'll have to come back when there's nothing here. And then, yeah, you have all of this flooring down here. So we have ghost matter nearby, but we're able to be fine. Because it's not as tight of a circle as... I feel like we still could get to the center of the interloper. I'm wondering if we just have to navigate a little bit more carefully. We certainly could try. Okay, we're headed over to our ship. I'm gonna review all of the data we have. Just kind of figure out what's next for us because I, I know that we have to be at Ramble. I just think my nerves right now are not gonna allow that. I think that just makes... I don't know. I, I think I should make this a long video and we go back to Bramble. I think we should. I don't know. <laughs> Looking at all of our data, we have the Ash Twin Project. I still feel lost with this. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. A Nomai plan, the construct, or plan to construct technology capable of producing 22-minute negative time intervals on Ash Twin. Each memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. In the central chamber of Ash Twin. Hmm. And then we know we can finish that exploration. These guys, I'm just gonna have to trial and error a lot with the anglerfish. The ruptured core. I found that two missing members went here, but there's more to be done here, so we have to still identify the ghost matter. This stuff? We now have the coordinates for the eye of the universe, um, but I just don't know what to do with them. Maybe. I guess we never tested this fully, but hear me out. Maybe it was never about like, fully tracking and replacing every single piece, right? 
in the galaxy. Maybe it's about just completing the areas that are together. So if I laid every single stone that works with the launch module, probe, tracking module, and control module, would it then fix that for the day? No, probably not. I don't know. Ugh. All right, I have to stop here for today for me, but I'm gonna keep going for you guys. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer video because I do wanna conquer Bramble, um, but I do have to skedaddle here for a second. So I will see you guys on a different day and you guys will see me in one second. Okay, bye. Welcome back guys, or it's a different day for me. I always say this, but like different day for me. I wanna be as transparent as possible with you guys before we embark on what I'm kind of thinking might be our last, our last, um, chance at finding a lot of stuff, because I, I have a feeling that we are coming to the end of it, and so that's probably why I'm just doing a super long episode to begin with, but I have been waking up in the middle of the night, and I know this sounds so dramatic, but whatever, this is so weird, this is side notice, like, everything aside, I often dream about the games I'm playing. I don't know if I'm alone in that. I don't know if you guys do. If a game is particularly like eating at my brain in some sort of way, I will wake up from a dream of doing something in it. And I had a dream that I was in Bramble and it was horrifying, okay? It was terrifying. But all of that aside, I woke up this morning and I was looking at all of our rumor and I was like, man, we've got so much of it uncovered and we're so close and I'm just not quite there. And so I was having my kind of weekly call with my editor this morning and I was telling him, I was like, this stuff is killing me, but I do not want to turn to, like in some games I've turned to Google in, in some ways, um, whether it's just to find something like small or whatever it may be, but with this game, I've been advised by everybody I possibly know to never look up anything because you never know when a spoiler will be there. And that's why I've been avoiding the comments up until whenever I finish the game and I'll go back. All I was told was he just said, do what you normally do, which is just go back to everything that you feel like you haven't figured out entirely. Like go back and just look around, see everything, give it another shot. Maybe you miss something and in a way, sometimes I think that can be the best advice for us across the board whenever we're getting hard stuck in any situation, game or not. And so I want you guys to know, like going into this second half of this video, cause it's probably gonna be a long one. Um, I want to retrace my steps at anywhere that we do not have completely discovered. I'm not expecting to. I, I don't even know if this is one of those games that you do find everything on a first playthrough. I think that's why so many people, again, like so many people have told me, like, do multiple playthroughs and everything, and you'll uncover more and understand more and everything. So with that, I want to start by going back to the Sunless City because I did talk about that with you guys. I know we've got Bramble. Those are like the two biggest mysteries, but I figure before we go to these question marks, I really wanted to try to circle back to anywhere where it says there's a little bit more information here. And some of these are hard to get to, right? I mean, this one we're going to have to traverse back into the, the water for and stuff like that. But there is more to explore here and things, so I want to make sure that we get that uncovered. Um, same thing with the ruptured core. I would like to enter back on the interloper. At this point in time, we haven't found anything to help us discover how to get past the ghost matter. And to be completely honest, I'm not sure if we're going to. I really don't know if that's the best way to approach some of these situations. We have successfully navigated around ghost matter before, and so I'm wondering if maybe there's a there's a better way to go about this. So, yeah, that's the plan. Let's start with this fresh new day. Let's start by heading back to the Sunless City and then back to trying to figure out the Ash Twin project. This is so frustrating because this is like this major piece and I keep thinking I've explored Ash Twin as much as possible, but I have a massive mystery here. So let's start by getting here, seeing what we haven't discovered in the Sunless City, and then we'll turn our eyes to the Ash Twin project. And then I reckon we'll do this, leaving Bramble kind of for the last because to be completely honest, I'm just terrified of it and I'm avoiding it like most things. I am avoiding it like the plague. I Those anglerfish, even with everything we know, they're horrifying and I've been devoured too many times in this video already. So I'm gonna save the worst for last. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and turn our sights to the Sunless City, you guys, to try to finish finding 
everything there is to find. Oh gosh. I wonder how many other people always put your suit on before. I reckon a couple of you guys would be like, why do you fly with your suit on? It makes me feel safer. All right, so let's head up here and we should know, really? What in the, what? What? Why is it always doing this? I'm gonna have to freeland. I don't really particularly want to, but we'll wait until we reset the day. Thankfully, we don't have to go back to the sun station. Honestly, okay, I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. Retro rockets. Is Bramble normally this close? I guess that's not that close. It just looks close. Okay, Beeline Sunless City. We're actually looking for... It won't even let me match velocity with it. No, 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 no. Honestly? It's actually not that bad. Okay, we're coming in right here. And landing right here. Oh, yeah, I knew that was gonna be a little roasty toasty. All right, pop down right here. You know, I guess the best spot to go is right here, actually, because then you can just jump down. All right, well executed landing, considering I wasn't able to autopilot, and into the hole we go. All right, so we are looking for the last things to kind of close this up. I'm imagining they're gonna be at the bottom. I'm successfully navigating that every time now and it feels so good. Right, we beeline for the lights and then we go down to the base. Yeah. All right, come on. There's one of these places that we're missing. All right, once again, we've got Eye Shrine District, High Energy Lab, Stepping Stone District, and Anglerfish Lookout. Eye Shrine, perhaps? Yeah, I think a lot of it is just kind of exploring what's at the base here. So let's just start looking for any... This was the High Energy Lab, correct? High Energy Lab. So we do not have to go that direction, which kind of makes us have a little bit more time to mess around here. Hmm. Anything here? Ah, oh, just more bodies. Just go up here. Oh. All right. Oh, oh my god. That's just a structure to get us up here. Do you guys remember there was a hovel or one of their homes was kind of blocked off? I'm thinking maybe you need the sand to help you get into it, perhaps? Is this the Eye Shrine District? Hmm. Uh, Stepping Stone Cave, which we've been in, so it shouldn't be here. That's where we came up through, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything more in that location specifically. Maybe, uh, hmm. We'll just clear all of our bases once again. This was where we learned about the anglerfish and the secret passageway in, so, and the children. So I know we've kind of, well, I haven't actually really talked about this too, too much, but I'm assuming that it was one giant thing, much like the, whatever's happening to us, you know, the giant blue light that's popping off and everything, that has to be what's happening to, that must have happened to them, is where I'm kind of concluding. Here we go. This looks like it. Or is this the eye shrine? Is this the kids? Are we playing the fossil game tonight? Yeah. I felt, yeah, the fishing. This is the same thing, you just can go the other opposite way. 
I'm assuming that happened to them and that's why they just instantly zapped, but I'm kind of amazed that even their bones would be left after that. Not sure about that. Okay, wait, I can't, I can't go further? I can't go further. Okay, so we can go all the way up here. Yeah, I think it's something to do with their homes. Wait, what's that over there? That's more, um... Oh, this is the route to... Wait a minute. Is this the route where I came from? No. Oh. This is the route with the ghost matter, right? I think so. And then this takes you to... I'm not even quite sure. This takes us up here, which is where we came from. So we came from the gravity cannon, right? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I think we should explore their homes more. There's something so obvious that we're missing. Something. There's definitely scrolls and things up here. So there's something above us. I don't know if we can get there though. It's the only thing. Hmm. I have to go snag. I'm gonna die by ghost matter. The sand. I think the sand can help us get through here, maybe? And then get up into there. Yeah. I think that we just need to come back here once the sand's filled up more, so let me, um... <clears throat> whoa. Okay, that is not ideal. Yeah, everything is telling me that we have to navigate around the ghost matter. And to not be so, like, scared of it and stuff. Alright, so we need to hop back down and get oxygen first as the sand fills. And since we have a little bit of time, let's go to the other districts, like the... Alright, trees refilled. We're gonna go over to their other homes, but yeah, I think that's where we need to head over towards. The sand is still taking some time. We're gonna pop over here, I think. It's kind of fun that the sand actually ends up helping you in a lot of these situations. This is the fossil cave. And then these are some more of the homes. So I was thinking at first there was a home all the way over here that we saw that's blocked by those guys too. This we need to here. Oh, scout launch obstructed. Launch it. <clears throat> right here. There's more stuff here too. That's two things that we need to get into. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if there's a... Okay, so we see a sand cave. Okay, so maybe we fall through one of the sand... Oh, all right, let's leave our scout there. Yeah, let's go up higher. Maybe there's a way to... Let me see. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yes, here we go. So we just need to fall into the right pit. Oh, there's more. This will be nice. I think we can get both of these done as well. We're looking for the light. Here it is. So that should be the right... Should be the right guy. Beautiful. It's always a little bit more simple than we like to make it. Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry. The station is in such a low stellar orbit. We've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from the Ash Twin. It's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yaro. Who doesn't love commuting, com commuting, no, nobody likes commuting, computing a low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? Pi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Ash Twin regularly. From the sun station? Yaro. Idea, 
That would be pie. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. This is how you're supposed to find out to just, the only way to get to the sun station would be to traverse the, um, to do the other way. You know what I'm talking about? That, uh, that way, that thing thing. Uh. All right, let's get our scout back. You know what? It might be the same case for the other one. Maybe we would need... Let's go peep the other spot. Yeah, that's where you would have realized if maybe you hadn't gone. I'm assuming that you're... The intention is to spend as much time as possible here before... Um, I'm going to make this jump and hope. To spend as much time here before you hop over to Ashwin. Because Ashwin is where, because I spent more time in Ashwin, I think that's just naturally why I was able to, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on, go back down. Where am I? I think that's naturally why I was able to, I want to go up here first too. Oh, I can't. Um, why I figured out to go everywhere, you know, like all the different places and what I wanted to do. This is where we need to get into. So I'm going to launch the scout here. And then that's where we need to end up. <sighs> a game like this is so interesting. It's got to be so much fun. I've talked about this before, but it's got to be so much fun to watch because everybody's going to play it a little bit differently. And some people might not find everything. Some people might misunderstand. I'm sure I've misunderstood a lot or missed some things. Solanum. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. I think we've read this one particularly, but I'm going to reread because we have the time. They say it brought us the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? Yeah. Going up to the final port. I think we've got to wait for that sand. Yep. Just looking. See, there's no way in like that. The only way in is the... But then I might get stuck and I might die, just for the record. It's gonna be risky, but I'm gonna die. All right, we need to wait for the sand to just keep coming up. It's filling up pretty nicely. I mean, I guess we might as well see if there's a different way to get in there. This is broken. There's no way we could go up through there. I think I should go get my final bits of oxygen before we lose the capability to. Yeah. Hmm. Should we build a sun station to power the Ashwin project? That would make sense that if it was able to power it in the first place, it would be there. Okay, so our oxygen is filled. We'll just keep waiting a little bit more. That's what that is. That's the Eye Shrine District. Okay. All right, it's gonna fill fast. We gotta go. <clears throat> and we pop in here. Yeah, this has got to be it. Wait, this isn't where we need it to be. There's one more place up higher, right? There's a spot that we need to go. My voice is just a mess right now. Right there. We just have to wait for the sand to fill up so that we can look. If the sand fills up here, that's our way in. Ugh. I don't want to waste all my fuel just in case. The sand's going to take forever. Yeah, the ice shrine district. But yeah, just like that one. Oh, that was close. That was close. But I'm going to waste all of my... Yeah, look, I bet, mm, I don't know if you can get up there. Hold on. Let me launch him right here. Obstructed. Wait, is there a spot up here? I'm trying to figure out because we're, we're really gonna get like one shot to do this. I mean, I can come back on a different go and try, but if I don't get it, let me see. So I don't know if you can actually get up that way. This would be our way in, but I don't know, guys. I feel like that's, it's pretty blocked off. Like even if the sand fills, although you know what we can do because the sand's filling at that rate, we can try in here. And if we don't do it, we can try the other way. 
because this is lower. Here it comes. Here it comes. Or we navigate through... But I feel like it's still... Never mind. The sand over here negates the ghost matter. Here we go. Let's go! I didn't even think like that. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. We know it, we know, what we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. All right, come on, Scout, let's go. All right, we've got a little bit more. If the eye called to us, why don't, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate? Did something happen? Did the signal stop? And does the eye no longer desire to be found? Or the eye is like the quantum where it's jumping around? I don't know. Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. They're making the eye seem much more intentional than I, I guess I would have thought. Like, it's this living, breathing thing. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We should be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally? Does that mean that the eye is less important, though? That... This whole, this whole situation, and I, I think I've talked about this before, but it's it's heartbreaking too, because they were on the cusp of it. Um, I think they didn't end up, I mean, I think they had all the pieces, but maybe they didn't actually, or maybe they f did get to it and they found out all that glitters is not gold. Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Yeah, that's what we were kind of talking about. Maybe it chose us. That's also an interesting notion to think that you are the specific chosen one because they came from another solar system. How is the eye not to know that other beings weren't trying to look for it or it was calling to another being? Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Do, like, does anybody feel like this is more just clinging to something? I mean, they're clearly and capable and highly intelligent species. And so it's interesting to see that they're clinging to this notion. Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Uh -huh. I think the sand stopped, guys. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. Oh, I feel like it can't be made. I, I don't think it's man-made. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? Now we're getting into some very, like, thought-provoking conversations if we really wanted to dive deep into this. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. I mean, look at that. As the sun passes through. The, oh, sorry. So yeah, the way that you can work through this is to come up and over here like we thought. And then you just pop out here. So if I had to guess, I, wait, is the sand? It is still going up. I felt like it was almost slowing down right there in that moment. Like I didn't feel like I was having to rush. Like I, like I normally have to rush when I'm reading things. So this shows us we can get pretty dang close to ghost matter and be fine. So I do want to go back to the interloper. I think that's been the best, like, advice. And I got to remember this just for a games period is just give her another go, you know? Feel level critical. <laughs> Let's go hop and see if that solved all of that. None, like, and let me be very clear that I don't think you naturally have to there are spots and situations where i do find finding the know my text and translating it is incredibly important but i think you can actually probably brute force your way through this game if you are maybe not a big reader but what's the fun in that like you 
see through the nomai text that it makes the whole species come alive. They're not just this, you know, long gone past race that has been obliterated by whatever's happened here. They don't feel so far away when you can read everything that they've written and even their like cute little conversations between each other and you can tell their admiration for one another, their respect for one another. Like they carry so many similar um, principles and emotions and feelings. And I think that in these kind of games, finding relatability in any way possible helps you kind of feel that much closer to it and invested in it. And so I really have tried to read and then follow. But I think when you're first picking up this game, and you haven't explored and seen all there is to offer, it can be overwhelming when you read something, you're like, okay, wait, wait, okay, so that's, they're communicating with this part and that part, and I'm starting to figure out that like, you can see they're communicating between different locations too, by the text. I just haven't figured, I still gotta figure out the whole pool stuff, but. No? What? Oh wait, there we go. The Nomai traveled to their, to this solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. And there you go. Another one bites the dust. Woo! All right. That is done and cleaned up. Let's pop over to the Ash Twin Project. So I'm going to read all of this stuff first before we pop back over there. The central chamber inside the Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell which probably explains why we haven't seen it, to be completely honest, if it's been sealed off. The Nomai planned to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. And we saw that uh, theory and, and the test that they were doing on, um, on the planet we're on right now at the high energy lab. Every memory recorded by Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. We haven't seen anything like a storage unit. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Central chamber. Nomai minds are, are mined away from the site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber. This was on Timber Hearth. That was one of the things that we had discovered. Once the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. So the only way to be able to get into this would probably be something like the sun station. But we've tried. Like, I've seen where the transportation is to the twins, and one of them is broken. And I get swept up in the sandstorm. So maybe I can try the other one. But the other one takes me back to the other planet. The Black Hole Forge connects to the Ash Twin Project. Maybe you can get to it from the Black Hole Forge. A tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower aligns with the center of the corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. There was a second delay, wasn't there? There is a second delay. Maybe we can go back. Oh, no. All of the warp towers are being constructed. The hourglass twins are so close together that they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. I know my name Pokey successfully forged an advanced core. I wonder if we need to go back to the black hole forge, but I find that hard to believe because I feel like it would say there's more to discover here. Here, it doesn't even say there's more to discover as much as just it's a mystery. High energy lab leads into it. The Nomai successfully reproduced temporal anomaly, anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. By this, the Nomai discovered that they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy. Statue Island. This island must be where the Nomai created statues like this. Yeah, and then they sent them over to the Ashwin Project. Physically sealed off. Let's hop over to Ash Twin and just look around. I, I wonder, I've definitely been going about this the wrong way because I keep trying to access it from the outside. Like it's pretty rare that I'm gonna fly into the sun. <laughs> it's pretty, bring it back, bring it back. Where is our other planet? Also, this is a good indicator as to when we run out of time. 
Let's try to bring it in and land. I'm gonna lose my ship, but y'all know the drill. It's kind of, oh, bring it down. I think I'm stuck on something. Uh, this is a good indicator of when we're gonna lose our time and our day. Oh no, it's coming through. All right, this is our body of... Go in, get in, get in. This is broken too. Wait, this one was broken as well, but we still are able to, whoa. Wait a minute, if this one's broken and I still am able to transport, how did I transport? Oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm being a mess. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You missed it, I missed it. Okay, wait, but I transported before without having to be swept up in the sand. And if this one is broken and the ash twin one is broken, then I can transport there. I just have to wait for the perfect second or maybe right before or maybe right after. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to test the theory. Because we've gone to Timber Hearth before. I, did, I forgot that that was broken. Here, this. Hmm. This little guy transports me back to... Let me see. I think this one we've transported before because it's fine. Right? Isn't this um the planet I was just on? The twin? So we've been here before. So we need to test this one. What was down here? Oh, there wasn't anything. Okay, so if this is broken, we're gonna test it just like, just like the Timber Hearth one. Oh, snap. It should be coming around. Should be here any moment now. Although I feel like it's gonna explode here soon and I'm gonna lose all my progress. Oh, here she comes. So it does kind of talk about a slight delay. So maybe if I hit it at the right moment, it will launch me. I don't know. Okay, don't get swept up. I have to hit it right at the last second. Because we, yeah, we've gone to Timber. I don't know. This sounds kind of stupid. I don't know. At this point, I'll try literally anything to avoid going back to Bramble. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. My ship. <laughs> Here we go. I think the sand's coming. Doesn't this music happen right before? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, hopefully this doesn't sweep me up. Wait, here? No. Wait, it's not. It already passed. Shoot, it already passed. But I missed it. I'm just gonna keep looking until we explode. I'm gonna keep looking and hopefully it works. Maybe, oh, the sand pool is so small now, right? Because it's scooped up as much sand as possible, so it wouldn't scoop up any more sand. Here it comes. No! I really think I figured... Oh, no. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Alright, we'll try again. We'll try, we'll try again. I, I'm not willing to let go of this thought. Like, I, I actually... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's too... Okay, so two thoughts. You either have to hit it right after the sand passes, or you have to hit it after it stops picking up as much sand. Like, after it stops um, passing with as much sand, because it's already filled. But either way, we checked off another box. So I'm happy. In 34 minutes. This is gonna be the longest video. I don't even know if we can... I probably will have to split this into two videos. Hmm. Things in this game always take longer than you than you think. They really do. In a good way. 
All right, I'm gonna get us back there and then I'm gonna start recording right before because we're gonna have to wait for some time to uh, pass to be able to even access the chamber in that as well. So I will be right back guys. Okay guys, we're gonna have to run into this really quickly because I think I might miss it. No, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, let's try this. This is gonna work. We just have to wait for all of it to pass, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. Here it comes. All right, the sand's coming in, sand's coming in. I need to sprint after. Do I need to look up in it or you just step into it? Go. That worked? Well, it should, just like Timber Hearth, but that worked! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, I was not, I didn't expect to get this far. Where are we? This is what? What? <gasps> this is so cool. This must be, you remember how we always see those, no, this stuff. No wonder it always looked so random. Look, this is <gasps> the reflection pool. <laughs> Eight minutes, 34 seconds ago, received data from a previous cycle. Mass receiving data from probe tracking module. Do you hear the music change? I don't even know if we've heard this music before. Probe tracking module, giant's deep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. 14 minutes until end of life, end of cycle transmission, which is what's happening is the end of cycle transmissions. <laughs> That's why we always saw them. We saw them in, uh, yes, we saw one of these in um, Giant's Deep and then in Timber Hearth. Those were the two locations that they were communicating with. <gasps> oh. oh, chart, scout, 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 baby. Come back here. Come on. Yarrow, today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished reallocating all subterranean planets we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. Raimi. How far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab. The music. I still can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. Look, the storage devices. <laughs> so much backstory. Pokey just sent the warped core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Okay, wait, wait. So Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep to, com to communicate. It was not by accident that the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hypothesis. I'm so excited that I'm tripping over my words. The cores could have been forged faster if Cassava hadn't interrupted my work less frequently to ask about updates. <laughs> the shade. The important point is that we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for or mediating your disagreements. Ash Twin connected them all. <sighs> Yarrow. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me that the cannon is doing well and that Avens advocated for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power for a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can go a device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. <laughs> And that he did. Perhaps I should check in on the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Mallow part of the problem? I will say that's just one thing that I'm kind of noticing in this moment. I mean, it's epic, don't get me wrong, but uh, the sound is a little, the sound levels can feel a little inconsistent at times. Like all of a sudden when it comes in, it comes in. It's like a beat drop, which I kind of like, but it is intense, that's for sure. Phlox and Daz finished the memory statues today on Giant Steep, and they are truly remarkable. 
There's a whole different level of music playing right now. These undertones. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event that it fails, the memory statue will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Yaro, Pai and Idea have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, but it never did. It didn't it didn't work. Which will turn the supply which will in turn supply the power to the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task. Absolutely. Like, let's give it up for um, Pai and Idea because going out to the sun station, that is not for the faint of heart. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Our days are 22 minutes long. And that's why every time we wake up, the orbital probe cannon launches, but because they put too much power into it, it breaks off. And now we're stuck in a loop. So wait, they weren't unsuccessful. They really were able to prompt the sun to explode. And that's what we're experiencing is a supernova. Yes, because we have 22 minutes in a day, 22 minutes, which will send the order for the orbital probe to fire back in time which is why every single time we wake up, we see it fire. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon that launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last for slightly 22 minutes. And that's why we're seeing everything. Like everything we're doing is being logged for that 22 interval. Oh, <laughs> we can end this cycle at will. We can end the cycle of, well, we can put an end to it. But how does the cycles impact the eye? How does that translate? These words are difficult to write down or to write. The sun station did not work. No, but I think it did. But we're stuck in that loop. It had to have worked. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of a magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. However, this is the closest we have ever been. It's coming in, the beat's coming in hard. <laughs> the Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, or maybe that's what's happening. Idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging progress. That must have been. They must have set everything up so that whenever it did finally naturally and organically explode without the prompt of the sun station, which makes sense. Okay, so the sun station didn't work. So we are in the future where the sun is at its natural course, where it is going to explode, because even they had predicted that at some point in the future, I'm assuming near, but when we talk about near, we could be talking about hundreds of years, thousands of years, who the heck knows, hundreds of thousands. But this is a naturally occurring situation, I think, I think. But they weren't able to halt. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for the moment. A comet has newly arrived in our solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. All right, I just want to talk about this for one second. I, there's a lot of different things happening around in my brain, but hold up. Let's just take a moment to think how incredible what they created was, because this started as them being in the vessel, right? and running into a problem, a situation, right? They were trying to explore. They then get split off into three different groups, landing in vastly three different situations and different areas, right? And through all of that, this culture and these people were able to create not only a means of communication between planets and moons, but were actually able to all work together to create something to still meet their total objective and what they were trying to achieve in the very end. I mean, this is just brilliant. 
brilliant. I'm so impressed right now. Okay, so this was something, so I was noticing just now, all of this writing is in blue. Like, that's white, no, that's white writing. But there also is blue writing, and then there's orange writing. See, look, blue and orange, and I never, yeah, no. I still, like, I just want to say that I have no idea how I'm going to get these to the corresponding right spots. I, maybe that isn't the move, but I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ashtwin. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. Pokey is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Pokey, always the perfectionist. I feel like that's something, I feel like we know some of these people. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Yeah, and then there's a white one, Clary. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here who's working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself. It's Timber Hearth. All right, remove Brittle Hollows. The music. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Oni, Ono, Ono. Oh, we've seen Ono's name before. This ore should be the last we need for the Ashram Project from Timber Hearth. Yes. Onio. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for the final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Have we read this before on... on Timber Hearth? We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in our shell that protects the Ashram Project could lead to disaster. I feel like I've read this message before. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer physical entrances. Rainy and I will be checking for the interior and then exterior of the cracks and our final safety check. I feel like I've, I thought that this was what I read on Timber Hearth, to be completely honest. But if you remember, Timber Hearth was the very first place that we saw this, that we saw these eyes, these, um, that chamber over there. Yeah, so the projection pool shows where the corresponding part is. Raimi, I've installed the mass inside the Ashwin Project blocks. They look beautiful. Although I do feel as though I'm being observed. <laughs> it's comforting to know that the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their mass will make us aware of a situation. We've read this before too, right? Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Is that why... The eyes of the one at the museum opened up was because that day when the cannon broke, that would have been equipment failure, right? So then whoever, no, but the one guy was looking at it. So why did it choose us? Must have been a timing thing or something. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. I've read all three of these before. I need to go back to some of these locations because I'm pretty sure I've read some of those before. Here. Oh, we need to power this up. <gasps> this is extraordinary. Artificial gravity control? What did it do? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't really want to go out anywhere. I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out. So keep me in, keep me in, keep me in. I don't want to go anywhere. Do I need to? Do I need to go somewhere else? Okay, let me fully explore. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Why do I need this? Okay, hold on. Gravity check. Thank you. All right, let's put power on this bad boy. I don't even know what it is, but I don't know if we want to. Oh, that's why we're going to want the artificial gravity. You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active. 
Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. Do we want to remove it? It would certainly change things, right? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's sit on that for a second. I don't know if we should go into just messing with things and... I think that would certainly stop the day, right? That would stop the day. I'm not quite willing to remove that yet. <laughs> I'm still trying to also mentally figure out how... I wonder why only a couple of them are lit up, by the way. I wasn't really looking at that. Um, here's my thought on that. I'm gonna zoom back. My thought on that, you guys, is I'm not quite sure we want to do that because, to be completely honest, I don't know how you end this game. And that's what I've been trying to figure out in these last couple episodes, is where do we go from here? Like, what am I supposed to do in the right order? How do we end it? Is removing the Ashwin Project going to end it? I think what it will do is we'll certainly not respawn. So if we die, we might die, and that might be our ending. I don't know. Let's go to this. But either way, our hypothesis worked. Ashwin Project, but there's still more to explore here, I think. Maybe not. <sighs> A hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no my mass attached. Three of the mass are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giants Deep and Timber Hearth respectfully. The Ash Twin project was designed to use the energy from a supernova triggered by the sun station to send probe data from the orbital probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The sun station did not work. Although the Ash Twin project was theoretically sound, the Nomai were ca unable to power it. There is an advanced warp core inside that protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. But remember, the Ash Twin project is so that we're able to receive data, and I'm pretty sure so that we keep reliving this day over and over again. So I think if we're going to want to end it, that's how we're going to do it, and that might be how we end the game. That's just my idea, my head running wild. All right. Well, that certainly discovers another one. We need to head to the rupture core because there's more to learn here. So let's try to clear that guy as well. Although I think our day is coming to an end here soon. In fact, I feel like I can hear it. Yeah, our day is coming to an end soon. So we'll see if we can do anything with that. There's Santa Loper. Oh, I need to set back on the menu, too. Yeah, because it's pretty... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I still don't... I, I don't know why. I've been getting really unlucked. Like, the further I get into this playthrough, the more I try to autopilot, and it doesn't let me. I think we're going to get zapped. What is that? Oh, that's the, the White Hole Station. All right. Retro Rockets. Retro rockets. The interloper moves so fast, it's really hard to get to without. Oh no. Get to it. Get to it. Come back. Come back. I wonder if we should just observe the sun and what happens leading into. Like leading into it exploding. See, it's oddly quiet. It's gonna explode. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I have to make sure I need to not land on ice if we want to stay still. Ah! Oh, we have to wait till we're right past the sun to be able to get down in there anyway. Oh shoot, I gotta time this right. I forgot about that. Where are we? Oh, the interloper's so far from the sun. I mean, I don't think we'll be able to hit it on this cycle. Yeah, guys, the cycle is going to end, so I'm going to go ahead and yep, look. Wait. Have we ever watched this happen? What's the glow happening from right there? That's, oh, Ash Twin. No, 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 that's Brittle Hollow. Ignore me. I think it's going to happen here. <clears throat> it's happening. It's going to happen. 
I mean, we might get close. I don't know. Let's see. No. I don't think before it explodes. It's... Okay, we're going by Bramble. I'm avoiding. I'm avoiding. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I think that's okay. I'm gonna wait for the day to kind of like burn out on its own. Actually, we can do we can do that as we're talking, but I'm gonna end this video here just because I'm gonna go straight into recording the next one, but I just think this is an ending up being like two hours. And with me wanting to go back and re like go revisit some of those locations that we haven't been to before, I just think that that's going to take up another hour or two. And so I don't want to rush this at all. Like, I really want to make sure we're not rushing this playthrough. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye in this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. But we discovered so much. Uh, that noise is annoying. I know. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, we truly uncovered a lot in this video from even just spend, spending some time in Dark Bramble. We Oh, also, we figured out that one thing on Timber Hearth using the Scout which is what helped us get into Giants Deep. So this video, we got into Giants Deep. We figured out a little bit of Bramble. <sighs> I know I need to go in there. I need to go back in there. So we've got that happening. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, and then we, we successfully cleared the Sunless City and actually did find the center of the Ashwin Project. And now we have this whole question of do we put an end to the Ash Twin project? Will that end the day or will that just eliminate us altogether? I don't know. I think I'm not willing to go back there until I know Kitty and have nothing else to explore. And that's like the last thing because I just feel like that is gonna end the game. So yeah, we'll we'll check that out next time. I think we'll pick up the next video with again the interloper and the ruptured core. And then these two guys, now that I have this, maybe I can go back to the launch module. There's still something even in the probe tracking module. So I think I need to head back to both of these and just look at them again, see if there's any information I missed, or maybe because I found the probe tracking module, I can go back and uh, kind of figure something else out about it. But yeah, that's the plan for the next video. And then of course, braving dark bramble again. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye YouTube.